Welcome to introduction to Python video. In this video, I'll be talking about what is Python, why this language has got so much popularity, what are its different use cases. So let's start. As we all know that it is a popular programming language, right? It is one of those languages which has claimed to be both simple and powerful. When you encounter it for the first time, you will also discover or you're also surprised to see that how easy it is to concentrate on a solution to the problem than the syntax and structure of a language you are programming in. It was created by a gentleman named G. Van Rousseau. Actually, he has got uh, this name from one of the popular BBC comedy series, which was telecasted from 1970s. The name, was, the name of the series was Monty Python's Flying Circus. Because uh, V. Rossom uh, actually needed a name that was short, unique, and mysterious. So he decided to call the language Python. And it was released in 1991. That's where this language got its name. Now let's talk about why Python, right? The first thing is, it's quite easy to learn. Reading a Python program, you will feel like you're reading English. It's quite easy to start with. It has got extraordinary simple syntax. That's what makes it so popular. If you talk about second point, it is free and open source. In a simple terms, you can freely distribute the copies of the software, read its source code, makes changes to it, and use pieces of it in a new free programs. So it's a free and open source language. Moving forward, third thing is when you write programs in Python, you never need to bother about the low level details because it's a high level language. Meaning of the high level is being a user, you don't have to get involved with the complexity of let's suppose of memory, of uh, what is happening behind the scenes. You don't have to bother about right? Because it's a high level language. Okay, it's quite a user friendly. You simply have to write a code without bothering about what is happening behind the scenes, which makes it a high level language. Next point, it's portable. Due to its open source nature, Python has been ported to many platforms. We actually we can use Python on Linux, we can use Python on Windows, we can use Python on Macintosh, right? We can make use of Python on FreeBSD, right? And other Linux variants as well. So it means we can learn, we can simply uh, learn Python on various platforms. So, okay, so it's a platform independent. Moving forward. Actually, this is another very uh, unique feature of the, this language that it's an interpreted language. Meaning is, let's suppose uh, we take some example now to help you understand I'll just take one example here. A program written in the compiled language like C or C++ because we all have grown up uh, learning these languages and these are the compiled languages. So a program written in the compiled language like C or C++ is converted from a source language, which is the C or C++, right? And it will be uh, converted into the language which is understood by computer, which is a binary, right? Using a compiler. When you run the program, of the C or C++, the linker or loader software copies the program from a hard disk to a memory and start running it. But on the other hand, like in the case of Python, it does not need any compilation to the binary. You just run the program directly from a source code. That's why it is called as interpreted language. Next point is another uh, quite a useful point. Uh, it's uh, object oriented. Actually, Python supports both procedure oriented programming as well as object-oriented programming. In project-oriented languages, a program is built around the procedures or a functions, which are nothing but a, a reusable re piece of code, piece of programs. In object-oriented languages, a program is built around the objects, which combines data and functionality, right? So Python has got a very powerful, but a very simple way of doing the OOPS concept, right? object-oriented programming concepts, especially when compared to the other languages like uh, C++ or Java, right? That's what, uh, it, that's why it's so popular, right? It actually supports both 
procedure oriented programming as well as the object oriented pro programming next point uh, it is embeddable so if we if i just um, uh, elaborate this point the meaning is that we can embed python within your c or c++ programs to give the scripting capabilities for your program users so this is a embeddable language right next point is it has got a support of extensive libraries meaning is the python standard library is a huge indeed right uh, it can help you to do various things which involved regular expressions regex right documentation generation unit testing threading databases web browsers and many more so these these key points or these key features makes python a popular language that's why i guess these eight points have answered the question why python right moving forward now so next question uh, like one can ask you that why we are learning python okay what's its applications where we can use in a real world actually python can be used to make web applications okay at a rapid rate it is because of the frameworks python uses to create these applications i guess many of us are aware about or many many of us have heard about the frameworks like django flask pyramid right as far as machine learning and ai is concerned machine learning and ai we, as we all know are the talks of the town as they yield the most promising careers for the future so programming language that mostly everyone chooses why which language i'm talking about python why python is so popular in machine learning and ai domains because python supports multiple libraries such as scikit learn numpy pandas right and many more so learn the algorithm use the library and you have your solution to the problem it is that simple that's why it is so popular in the machine learning or ai domain if i talk about the next point which is data science and visualization actually we all know that uh, data is money if you know how to extract relevant information from it which can help you to take some calculated risk and increase profits you study your data you have perform some operations extract the information right so we have a libraries available in python such as pandas numpy which helps you in extracting information and another point is visualize right i guess uh, this is one of the very key point of python that we have a languages we have a uh, libraries available such as matplotlib cborn which is helpful in plotting graphs and many more this is what the python offers to you to become a data scientist and last point is desktop graphical user interface actually we can also use python to the program desktop applications it use one of the very popular library called tinkter which can be used to develop user interfaces so that's what python is all about right so it's a one man army moving forward if we talk about installation guys uh, installing python is quite easy and many uh, like nowadays many many platforms like linux and unix distributions already include the python so do, you don't have to like uh, install it or you don't have to like get the python from outside world it's already inbuilt and if i talk about how to get started it's quite simple let's suppose if you are a windows user and you want to check that if you have a python installed simply run this following a uh, script or uh, following line or a following keyword on your command line cmd right simply write python space hyphen hyphen version if it's giving you the version it means python is available similarly if we just talk if you are a, you are a linux or a mac user again you have to open up a terminal and simply write python space hyphen hyphen version to check out whether python is available or not actually downloading python configuring it and running it it's quite easy it's not a complex stuff right that's why i've already have stated that working with python is quite easy because first of all if we talk about uh, uh, it it's also a high level language plus it's a uh, also english like a language and as well as uh, uh, as far as installation is concerned it's quite easy right it's just a walk in the park so to conclude this whole uh, video let's talk about its summary so python is indeed a exciting and powerful language it has got a right combination of performance and features which makes writing programs in python both fun and easy 
I damn sure that if you use it for a very first time, you'll find it uh, like quite easy to learn and very soon you'll be habitual with writing the codes. So all the very best with your Python. Thanks for watching.